Hey everyone, my name is Mike Aubrey. I'm one of the technology evangelists on the Fusion 360 team. And the tips this week are going to focus in more on the cam side of things. And what we're looking on the screen here is an errant toolpath that is cut into the fixture uh, of a part that was CNC machined. And this is a problem actually that Fusion can solve with that. It's called interference detection, and it allow you to identify where your toolpaths are going and making sure that they aren't cutting into things you don't want to. So let's take a look at that, and we're going to do it actually looking at this super sweet action figure by Josh Scheringer, a really cool guy in New York, and we're going to make this custom metal insert for this part. So what I've done here in this model is I've put the model into a broader assembly of how I'm going to actually secure it. So I took the gear and actually I made a stock piece over top of that gear, and you'll actually see that in a second. And then I brought in this fixture, this clamp that I found off a of GrabCAD, and now I'm going to secure them together. And so once I go into the cam uh, environment and I start up a setup, I'm able to choose first what the model is, and then there's an op option to choose fixture. And so I'm going and I'm choosing those fixtured pieces, and then I'm going to do finish this other thing. I'm actually selecting my stock piece. I modeled the stock piece. I think that's actually a really convenient way to do it. So I'm just going to choose that, and this is going to be the piece we're going to be cutting into. And then I'm going to finish up the, the final parts about making it so I can make that so blue is up. That's the z-axis so that the, the tools will go the correct direction. I'm choosing where the zero is. But the key thing to remember here on how to make sure you can look for interferences is turn on that fixture and choose what parts you want the cam tool to look at. So now I'm going to do a facing operation here, and it's a smaller part, so I'm just going to pick this flat, uh, this flat mill, and I'm going to choose uh, just to go to the, take a little bit off the top there, and let's see what the piece does. And so we'll, we'll just kind of turn off the view of the actual stock piece so I can see the path, and we'll simulate it. And in order to, to take advantage of interference detection, go ahead and hit the stock bar button, and then turn on that stop on collision and see what it does. Let's just go ahead and hit play on this guy. And... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go very far uh, in red. That would be a collision. And oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> I guess I didn't see that. It's cutting right into my, right into my, into my clamp. Oops. And so I need to change that. So I'm going to change which direction the uh, the passes are going in, make it so it's more vertical. And uh, I've actually had a couple people ask me where that button is, and that that's where it is. It's actually in the passes section. Just change the angle. And if I hit play again, you see that that actually solves some of the problem, but it's still interfering. With, with my fixture. So I'm going to do one other thing. I'm actually going to change the, the stock offset, make it so it's not going the entire entire duration. I'm going to make it so it tucks in about maybe two millimeters, and we can see right there, yeah. So it won't do that extra pass. That's, that seems to be the problem. So I'll hit simulate. And again, I can be, be pretty cool. There's no, there's no interferences. And I, the way I know that is you can see there's no red on the, the main screen. And actually, in the earlier examples, on the bottom of the t the, the, the the taskbar there, you, you'd actually see a preview that's all in green there. Um, if there had been interference, you'd see these little red hashtags too. So that's a little bit, little quick overview of, of what interference is and kind of how to set it up. If you've got any questions, let me know. I hope that was useful for you. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a couple little finishing th touches here, do the, the little profile passes, and I've got myself a pretty sweet metallic gear to go in the little brawler. Uh, have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye.